Hey guys, I'm just going to go over uh, the step-by-step -step process of uh, how to update your Dragon Link receiver and TX uh, to the latest firmware or any firmware for that matter. Firstly, uh, you're going to need the actual update cable. Uh, you can get it at uh, dragonlink.com. Um, it comes in uh, two, two parts. Um, one is uh, to plug directly into your data port of the uh, the transmitter and this part uh, for your receiver and uh, you just will have to plug them in. I made this one up myself so I just made two little uh, lines like this just to uh, make sure I get the uh, the wiring correct the one that you get from Dragon Link actually has the male plug that fits perfectly into this. So basically uh, the next step you're going to need to do is actually download the firmware. Okay, so uh, you can get it on the uh, Dragon Link forums on RC Groups. Um, it's currently not available uh, on the website. Not the newest version anyways. Uh, it's, the final release is uh, not out yet. But the uh, version 9 is highly recommended. And it's getting pretty close to being finalized. So when you download, you have three files. Okay, this is the actual updater tool. And these two files here, one is for your TX and one is for the RX. Okay, so you just, uh, you'd have to unzip that to your desktop or whatnot. Um, wherever you uh, keep your files. I'm just going to close that out. I already have the files. I just have a folder created with um, all the releases and stuff. So we just need to find number nine. And they're all numbered. So this one here, number nine, is my for my RX. And TX number nine is right here. And so I still keep this in here. I just keep updating it um, as we go. So all we need to do now is uh, run the installer. Um, it'll ask you to run depending on your settings okay so now this is our updater uh, when you plug the USB in uh, it should assign a COM port for you okay so I know that COM 8 is uh, so you can hit the refresh button but I know that for me on that USB port it assigns COM 8 usually it's the second one before you plug it in or after you plug it in sorry if I unplug it I still have COM 7 and I plug it in and it will just assign the next one so you can refresh it after you plug it in if it's not coming up if not you might have to go into your device manager and see which COM port it is so basically now the next step we'll have to do is browse okay so when we browse we're gonna do our TX first so we just need to find the file TX version 9 which is right here okay and we will open that okay now this is loaded in our box so if you look on the bottom of your um, TX and we have our four pin plug you just have to plug it into the data port like so okay so now you have to um, power on your radio welcome to Toronto's Okay, and you see the light uh, blinking. So now that we've got the uh, plug uh, plugged into the data port of your TX, I just want to make sure I pick COM8 here. And update Dragon Link. And you'll see a, a status bar creeping across the bottom. That just um, indicates that it's flashing. And then you'll get a Dragon Link successfully updated. OK to disconnect. You can hit OK. Now before you disconnect the data port uh, from your receiver, turn off your radio, which powers off the Dragon Link. So now we need to uh, do the same thing for our RX. Um, just need to find the file, just same as what we did for the TX. Uh, so we'll just browse. Now we'll look for version 9 of the RX. 
version 9 TX, uh, if I can find it here, version 9 RX, okay? Just click that and we'll open that. Now that loads into our, our uh, little box there showing you what's going to be updated. So now we just um, you have to plug in your second lead, uh, that which uh, goes into your RX. And we need to plug it in here. And you'll get a, a dim light on your um, on your RX, okay? Now this is it's only getting the the three volts or something from the PC, so you need to actually give it five volts. So either from a, a main uh, flight pack if you got power coming in. Me personally, just use a, a standalone battery. Uh, just use a, um, a standalone battery. Uh, you can use the main flight pack if you have it installed. I've done it with a couple of my models and uh, didn't seem to to mind. So just remember that you need to actually give it more power than what the USB is giving, which is like probably three volts or something or whatever USB puts out. And so we'll just power it. Just make sure your polarity is correct. Okay, now you'll see that our um, our power light is uh, a little bit brighter as normal. Okay, so now that we've got the firmware already in, all we need to do is click update. So you see the status light uh, comes on, and you'll also see our um, LEDs flickering on our update board. And you'll notice that you get a little pattern of LEDs. I usually like to leave it until that happens. And you'll see that our pop-up box comes up that it's okay to disconnect. That was done correctly. What I like to do uh, before I disconnect is take the power off and take our pin out. Okay guys, uh, that pretty much clues up uh, how to update your TX and your RX with the uh, the latest firmware so uh, hopefully it helped you out and uh, thanks for watching